fine students i hope you all are fine and enjoying at home and as the exams are going to start i hope so that you all have started your preparation too so children you all are at home work hard to get success okay now let us begin the remaining part of the lesson 0r students till now we have seen that the bobby also wanted to go with his father on the moon so secretly he entered into the drone and he sat into the rocket okay without telling anyone without wearing any suit and all that we have already seen that these uh, spacemen uh, persons they used to wear some special kind of suit and something these astronauts but bobby went there and he sat uh, under the barrels okay he hid himself under the two barrels now this was the scene in the rocket and second scene was at home where father was talking to his mother to bobby's mother and he was telling that uh, he was telling about the rocket okay so from here we have to start once again john lay back in his easy chair and closed his eyes he would hoped to stage a little ceremony at the launching but washington said no washington said simply light the fuse and fire the thing okay so he sat on an easy chair and he was thinking that if it would be a grand ceremony then definitely they all must feel very happy but it was the order of the washington it was the order from the american government that there will be no ceremony no party only they have to fuse some lights is it still a big secret then his wife asked is it still a big secret because there is no party no ceremony nothing is there no no not between you and me at least then john said no dear it is not a secret between you and me we fired an explosion rocket at the moon now he said we fired okay we fired listen my words children we are not going to fire we fired an explosion rocket at the moon it will hit in about an hour and telescope will show a big purple spot when our explosive go off and throw die all over the place now he said no no it is not a secret between you and me at least and we fired the explosion rocket on the moon like we did our experiment okay now see children father is here only and he had already fired the rocket it will hit in about an hour and within one hour it will hit and telescope will show a big purple spot and how we will identify that rocket has gone and it has hit we will show a purple spot with the help of the telescope okay and when your explosive when our explosive go off a throw die all over the place i have made this this is the spreading of the color whenever the rocket goes children this we have seen whenever the plane whenever the rocket goes then we can see a white cloud sometime we have seen this so what he said uh, if the rocket will go off then we will it will throw a die all over the place everywhere we will see this type of form or this type of clouds i see lots of fun no doubt but what's the purpose 4th of july on the moon then she said okay 
I see. Okay. Lots of fun, no doubt. Definitely. Exploding rocket or sending rocket to the moon. It's a big fun. It's a great thing. It's a full of enjoyment that you people are sending the rocket to the moon. You people are exploding to the moon into the space. You are sending the rocket and it is showing these type of colors. You all are celebrating the things definitely. These things are a great fun. But is it a 4th of July on the moon? Now see the meaning of 4th July. Children, 4th July is an Independence Day in USA. Now what she wanted to tell. Is it a day of independence on the moon? Are you going to celebrate Independence Day on the moon? That you are sending all these rockets? Oh no. If the experiment is success, the next rocket will carry men instead of a bomb. Then John said, Oh no, we are not celebrating 4th of July on the moon. But if the experiment will be successful, then next time men will go instead of the bombs. So children, this time these scientists have sent bombs into the space on the moon with this rocket. Now just imagine, where is that Bobby? Because father is here only. Myra went to the kitchen to see about supper. John called. Where is Bobby? In the bed, in bed, I suppose. After talking this thing, after having a little discussion, um, Myra went to the kitchen and she started the preparation of supper, that is night food, uh, dinner. She was preparing the dinner and by the time John asked, Where is Bobby? She said, he must be in his room. John moved towards the bedroom. Maybe he is still awake. And then while thinking that maybe he is still awake, he went to his bedroom. Bobby rolled over. As soon as he went into the room, Bobby rolled over. Now see children, this is the suspense. Till now we were thinking that Bobby is in the rocket. But as soon as John entered into the room, Bobby turned over to his father. His eyes popped open and he opened his eyes. Dad, I thought you went too. Then he said, Oh dad, I thought that you have already gone. John Kendall sat down on the edge of the bed and tussled his son's hair. Now John sat beside him and tussled his hair. Now see the meaning of tussled. Made his hair untidy by rubbing it with affectionately. Now sometimes we used to rub the hairs no? with affection. Rub the hairs of the children with affection. So he started tussling his hair. No, son, it's the old terra farma, uh, terra farma for me. Then he said, no, no, I have not gone. It is an old land for me. If it is an old land for me, it means I can go at any time. This is my own place. Okay. Did you see the rocket blast? Then he asked, did you see the rocket blast? Oh, ho. it was really something. I went to the moon, didn't it? Then he said, oh, ho. it was really something. It was something interesting. It went to the moon. Then he asked the question, whether the rocket has gone to the moon, isn't it? That's right. John smiled and thought. Try to keep a secret from the children. It just can't be done. Then he said, Oh, they are the children and we cannot keep anything secret from them. So I have tried to keep a secret from my family, but I was failed. So he said that, Trying to keep a secret from the children. 
It just can't be done. We cannot keep anything secret from the children. How's your moon rocket coming along, son? Then he asked, how's your moon rocket coming along? Like he has already made his own rocket that was six feet. We have already seen in the beginning. And uh, in the beginning only he was mending that rocket. So he asked, how is your rocket coming along, child? Pretty good. He dad. Then he said, okay, dad, it is good. As long as you didn't go, I am glad I didn't go either. Then he said, as long as you didn't go, I am happy that I have also not gone to the moon. Okay, so he said, as long as you didn't go, I am glad I didn't go either. Without you, I will not go to the moon. He said this. Now see the twist, children. Bobby had already seen the real rocket and father is talking about his game rocket. Okay, and he asks, how is your moon trip? Like, how is your moon rocket going? Then he said, okay, everything is good, father, but I will not go anywhere without you. You were planning to make the trip too? Then John asked, you were also ready to go to the moon? Oh, I got into the rocket and was all set. But I got to thinking about mom. See this children. This is the love and affection towards the mother. This is the responsibility of the child towards his mother. What he is saying? Yes, I got into the rocket. I sat there. I managed everything. But all of a sudden, I started thinking about the mom. How one of us should stay and take care of her in case anything happened. Then he said, at least one of us should stay at home. Because I thought that you are going and that's why I also started my journey. I also planned to sit in the rocket and to go with you. But all of a sudden, I started thinking about the mom. And then I stopped my journey. Okay? And I came back home because I started thinking that there should be someone at home to take care of the mom. Smart thinking, son. Now you get to sleep. I have a little time tomorrow. Then the father said, Yes, you're right. Whatever you are thinking, that is too great. Good job. Okay? So it is a smart thinking, child. Then he said, Okay, now you sleep. Tomorrow I am free and I have a little time. So we will play the ball tomorrow. That will be fun. John Kendall smiled. As he left the bedroom, he started thinking. Now this is the thinking of the John Kendall. Children were wonderful. And he said that really children are the wonderful. The childhood is wonderful. Okay. Surprising. Full of wonders, full of imaginations. Because till now the John Kindle is thinking that Bobby is imagining everything. So he said that the children are wonderful, their imaginations are wonderful. They live in their own world of dream. Give them few old boats and steering wheel and they could build a ship to fly to the moon. And he said that you just give them some junkyard things. You give them some old things. Okay, you give them some wheel, some old ship, some cardboards and they will make a ship to fly to the moon also. So this is their imagination. They think beyond the world. They think out of the world. Only we have to give wings to their imagination. Then they can go anywhere, they can do anything. This, these children are wonderful and their childhood is also wonderful. It is surprising. It is just the gift of God. What a wonderful dream world they live in. And these children, they live in a wonderful world. They live in the dream of a wonderful world. Too bad. They had to grow out of it. 
and then john started thinking that it is too bad when these children grow up and they come out of the imagination world and then they stepped in into the real world okay so their imagination world their thinking world is too good but it is too bad when they leave these things and they come out of this that is they miss their childhood so john kindle is also missing his childhood and while thinking about the bobby he started thinking that how beautiful is the childhood how beautiful is the imagination of the children what dream they see and in what world they are living but when they grew up then everything vanished when they meet the real world okay so this is all about the lesson clear thank you children